everybody. Happy Monday. I hope all of you guys are doing good because I am doing great. Today I am deep cleaning my house, trying to get ready for the holidays. So you guys come on along with me. Hey guys, I am back. I am back. I had a little family interruption. If anybody knows what it's like to have a parent on drugs, you know it can be stressful. It can be draining. So my mother's come by. She came by. It was, just wasn't in the mood to be bothered. I could tell she was drunk, had been drinking, smoking crack, whatever the world. So I decided I did not want to be bothered with it today, so I did not open the door. But she still was knocking on this door, my windows, here, there, everywhere. So I decided to get her clothes and put them at the front door. Because my mom thinks that she can be in and out on the streets doing drugs and then run to my house when she wants to eat and clean up. I had been doing it for a while, but I guess got tired of it. So I decided that today I was going to put my foot down. Because I am in a new space where I want peace in my life. I don't want confusion in my life. So sometimes we have to detox from toxic people. And it's hard because that's my mother. That's my mother. And I have been doing this for so long that I'm drained. I am really drained. <laughs> I love her to death. But it's hard when you have someone leaning, leaning on you, but you can never lean on them. You know, I have been abandoned by my mother and my father. So I have some issues that I have been trying to work on and get together. So maybe I can get back into my cleaning and feel free in my house. Because the reason why I didn't open the door was my mother likes to fight. She would lay hands. And I just ain't in the mood for that. My spirit just ain't that no more, you know? And she have, having problems with her boyfriend. He ain't no good. I think he's going through a battle with his sexuality. Even though he's older, he's in his 50s, you know? And I think that that's why one minute he wants to be with her, then the next he don't. I wouldn't stand for it. Go ahead. Go back to the shelter. My mom was staying in the shelter. She was getting herself clean. She was working. She had a lot going for herself. It seems like my mom got her boyfriend to come to the shelter with her to stay. It just didn't work out. She was right there here at home crying on my steps. She has days she fusses and cries about my grandma didn't leave her nothing in the wheel. And she's always blaming people. Blaming people. So I just thought it was time for me to step up, put my big girl panties on, and just don't open the door. And I know that could be harsh to people. But sometimes people have to hit rock bottom to get their shit together. And it was starting to have an effect on my household here. Letting her in and out, eating, coming here early in the morning. My kids trying to do school. She want to get yak about the stuff in the streets. I try to put up with it because I have a lot of patience. But it seemed like it ran out. So maybe I can get back to my cleaning. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. That thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, have anybody ever had to deal with a parent on drugs? Was I wrong for not opening the door for my mother? When I look back on it, I say no. It was just time for me to stand up for myself. It really was to have her in and out. I didn't want her bringing no bed bugs here to my house, staying in crack houses and stuff. So I'm just sorry. I really am. I love her. Mom, I love you. Love you dearly. I pray for her. And I really wish her well. So maybe I can get back to my routine. Thank you guys for listening. Because that was hard for me. I, I had to sit in this house and really have a conversation with myself. Because... I love her, y'all. I really do. I think I was just so hurt that I felt like I had a chance that I was going to be getting my mother, having a mother. And it just didn't go that way. And I'm tired of getting my hopes up. I'm tired of things just falling down, just, just not going right for me. So I want to make some changes in my life to be a better mother, to be a better me for myself, for my girls, for my son, for my partner. And uh, that's all I got to say right now. And uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey there, before you go, let me tell you about this new product that I have called Marrowbone. It helps shine, condition, and definitely give you itches. So keep up to date by watching my videos and I will let you guys know as soon as I have him back in restock. Thank you, subscribe, and thumbs up.